So I'm driving towards the setting sun, which means that the Earth is actually spinning uh, towards us at the moment and carrying us away from the sunset. And if I was driving fast enough, maybe 600 miles an hour at this latitude, that would mean that I could actually stay in this moment of twilight indefinitely. So my speed would essentially be completely countering the Earth's rotation. And as it turns out, I'm going nowhere near that fast. I'm only going about 60 miles an hour. So I'm actually being carried away from the sunset over there. But if I were going that fast, we've got the moon up here, what you would see over the next few days, if I was going fast enough to completely counter the Earth's rotation, would be that the moon would also appear to move away from the sunset, because that's orbiting us. So it's actually orbiting, from our perspective, away from the sun. Now, as it turns out, I'm going nowhere near fast enough to counter the Earth's rotation. So what you'll see in sort of fairly short order, probably from here about two hours, is the moon will appear to follow the sundown and set after it. However, that's all in the terrestrial frame of reference. What you got to bear in mind is that the sun over there, which has got, just gone down maybe an hour or so ago, is we're in orbit around it. And what that practically means is I'm traveling downwards, directly downwards, at about 30 kilometers per second. That's, oh, good God, maybe about 100 times the speed of sound. Um, and that's, it, compared to the actual rotation of the Earth, that wins everything. So I'm only, I'm traveling 60 kilometers an hour towards the sunset. I'm moving about 500 miles an hour backwards. And I'm traveling, uh, oh, what would it be? What did I say, 100 times the speed of sound? So 100 times 600. 60,000 miles an hour. I'm traveling 60,000. I hope that's right, by the way. I'm traveling 60,000 miles an hour downwards. So, anyway, that's. So, just feeling the motion of the Earth, the, the moon over there. I hope that's in the frame of reference. And the sun over there. She's down there somewhere, the sun.